Hey everybody, Mr. Effect Films here yet again. So, let's talk about this whole big, really, really controversial thing going on with Captain America that's got everybody on the internet talking and everybody just talking about how ridiculous and stupid this is, including myself. So we're going to talk about this whole thing about Captain America being revealed to be a Hydra agent. So this was this was revealed in the uh, first issue of this new Captain America um, comic series that uh, Marvel's got going. And here's the thing, because I talked to a friend of mine at work about this, and um, and I and I knew I would have to make a video about this eventually because, like I said, the internet has just been set ablaze by this. So I knew I was gonna have to weigh in on this eventually myself. So here it is. But yeah, like I said, I talked to a friend of mine at work about this, and I'm actually I'm a little more open to the idea of this than she is. But we both agree this makes no freaking sense. But so the, the the idea here is that you know Cap uh, Steve Rogers, as a kid, uh, first of all had a really really rough home life. You know his his dad was a uh, drunk, and he you know often abused his mother. And it's a and it's implied that he maybe often abused. Uh, Steve too, but we're never told that. But simply put, he had a really, really rough home life growing up, and uh, this lady comes along one night, um, and uh, kind of helps. Uh, she she beats the crap out of out of his dad, which is actually kind of funny to, to watch. And uh, you know, and everything everything looks like it's going cool. She's she treats her and Steve to she, she treats Steve and his mom to some dinner and whatnot, and everything seems cool. And right before they're getting ready to go. She says, you know, hey, I, I, I'm actually part of this uh, group that uh, gets together. And we mostly just talk about stuff going on in the newspaper and what we can maybe do about it to help and things like that. And, uh, you know, she gives him a flyer and says, you know, you, you, should think by, you should think about stopping by. See if it uh, interests you. Well, it turns out that flyer at the, at the end, because th this whole flashback sequence is told throughout uh, bits and pieces throughout the whole issue. And at the very end, we see that that flyer had the Hydra insignia on it. And then the next thing we see is Cap uh, looking at the guy he was supposed to save, and he says, Hail Hydra. And that's the end of the issue. Now, like I said, I'm actually somewhat open to this, to the idea of Cap being a Hydra agent. Because, if, if for no other reason than because of the Winter Soldier movie that came out a couple years ago, which, if you don't know, is part of the MCU and their whole... Um, you know, huge roster of movies that they've got going. Because in that, uh, Hydra is essentially trying to do the same thing that S.H.I.E.L.D. and Cap is trying to do, which is lead the world to a uh, brighter future. But the, the problem, of course, is that Hydra thinks that the only way to do that is to, as Cap says, point a gun to everyone in the world's head and call it freedom, or call it security, I guess. Whereas Cap is very pro-freedom. You know, don't don't deal out punishment before the crime. Punishment comes after the crime. He's very he's very uh, uh, about that sort of thing. But given the right circumstances and given the right upbringing and all that, I could see Steve being swayed to Hydra's side eventually at some point in time. So that's what I said. I was act I'm actually kind of open to this idea. My problem is just is, is that it's executed really really poorly. The biggest problem with this, of course, is that. It's just it's 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 just simply a continuation to everything that had been going on. Now, granted, I hadn't been keeping up with everything going on with Marvel because there's just there's just so much stuff for me to keep track of, and I'm, you know, I'm kind of uh, you know busy with other things on top of that, mostly mostly dealing with work and trying to find another job. But also, you know, I you know I read other comic books. I'm keeping up with some uh, novels and some movies and you know video games and whatnot and TV shows. So. My time is wrapped up in other things. I don't have time to keep track of every single thing going on with Marvel and DC right now. But, you know, the, but the point still stands, like I said, I, I was actually somewhat intrigued by this idea by having Cap be, uh, be a Hydra agent. But here's the thing. I think this would have worked a lot better as either an Elseworlds story or as if they just straight up rebooted the Marvel Universe altogether, which I wouldn't have been against. I mean, it, to be fair, Marvel does that quite a bit anyways, so that might have pissed some people off. But if they did that and then they said, you know what, in this in this iteration of, of our Marvel history and timeline, 
in this iteration, Captain America is he's a he's a mole for Hydra. He's he's with Shield, and you know he you know he you know is a superhero and whatnot. But he is his 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 real allegiance lies with Hydra. Like I said, I'm actually kind of open to that idea, but it, like I said, it should have either been an Elseworlds story or a straight up reboot, because as a continuation, it makes zero sense. Um, th this just, th it, it, like I said, it's a really, it's an interesting idea, but it's just executed really, really, really poorly. Uh, yeah, there, there's actually, there's actually a lot of funny memes uh, all over the internet now that show uh, one, one of them, one of them shows Cap saying Hail Hydra as he does at the end. But then the other, the, the rest of it shows a bunch of other uh, superheroes, uh, Batman and Spider-Man um, and Daredevil. And it shows them, uh, Batman says, uh, I shot my parents. You know, and Spider-Man says, you know, F responsibility. And the Daredevil says, I, I could see the whole time. I wasn't blind. It's hilarious. But my, fa oh my God, my favorite one. And I'll, I'll, I'll try to post it up uh, here for you to see. But my favorite one is with uh, Aang from Avatar of the Last Airbender. And his says, I killed the Air Nation. <laughs> but it, it, essentially, all of these memes are saying the same thing, that you're essentially, for, for the sake of uh, shock value, that, like I said, is an interesting idea. You're essentially retconning the entire characterization of Captain America and Steve Rogers by extension. And it just doesn't, it, like I said, the way it's done doesn't work. It could have worked if they, if they had just done it right. But as it's as it is, this just doesn't work at all, and it's just it. Oh my god! Now, having said all that, I am interested to see where this is gonna go, but I doubt this is gonna end up being a good story in the long run. But we'll see. I don't know. Um, so, like I said, I'll, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to keep up with this because, you know, Cap's a Hydra agent. You know, who'd have thought? <laughs> so. Yeah, so that's really all I've got to say. Uh, it, like I said, it's a really interesting idea, but just really, really poorly thought out and executed. So, so yeah, I guess that's about all I've got to say about this. And uh, this has been Mr. Effect Films. I'm signing off, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.